set. We're going to get the question started with Mark Narducci. Um, Doc, I, I wanted to ask you, um, LeBron said something today about he thinks all these rash of injuries have a lot to do with the condensed schedule this year in the NBA. Do you, do you have any thought? That theory has been going around by a lot of people. Do you have any thoughts on that? I'm injury free, Mark. I've not had an injury all year. I, I feel great, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't uh, listen. Uh, Le when LeBron talks, we all listen, that's for sure. Uh, but, uh, you know, there's injuries every year. Uh, there were injuries in the bubble last year, um, you know, so it's just the last couple of years have been very difficult, uh, but, but we're getting through it. Um, and I think um, it says a lot about the players in the league that we can get through this. Thank you. By the way, you did have a load management day this year, so you did take more of them. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I need a couple more of those. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Next question, we'll go to John Clark. Hey, Doc, you mentioned that uh, you thought it was important for Danny Green to stay with the team, be around the team. What is his involvement as far as uh, talking with the guys today or, or his, his involvement tonight? Well, he's been the coach all year, so I'm just going to let him keep doing that, you know. Uh, you know, he's been great. He's just good. You know, listen, it only goes so far uh, with the guy in street clothes, as we know, uh, right? Like, you know, player to player, it, it helps when the guy's on the floor playing. Uh, but Danny's been on the floor with them all year. And so Danny knows as much as any of us uh, when we're doing things right to continue to do it, when we're doing things wrong. Um, and he's another voice for me, you know, so he's important for us. And Joel Embiid today at shoot around uh, and being around him today, how does he look? And, and you get a sense of his mindset coming off a really tough second half? Yeah, I mean, I think, listen, we lost the game. So everyone is uh, mindset was was on edge and and ready to go. And that's what you want, you know, uh, from all of us. And Joel was just like everybody else on that one. Next, we'll go to Jack McCaffrey. Doc, what did you think of uh, Joel making second team all NBA? And it doesn't look like the Sixers are getting much traction in that awards voting. Or did did your team go under the radar a little bit? Uh, or is somebody missing something that, that, that should yeah, you know, Jack, I think I'm biased for sure. Um, but, you know, sometimes you have to do it to get it the next year, if you know what I'm saying. So um, not that worried about it or concerned. Um, you know, um, it, it – Listen, we have three guys on the defensive player, uh, on the defensive team, which is pretty impressive. Um, you know, obviously, you know how I felt about Ben, and, you know, I, I think Joel should have been on the first team, but we're not going to worry about it. All right, Doc, thanks. Thanks. Jeff Skaversky. Hey, Doc. I, I, you know, coming off that loss, obviously that was a huge swing game. Coming in tonight now, do you think your guys are going to play angry with – a little extra edge after what happened, uh, you know, as they obviously don't want to go down, uh, you know, two, three here. No, I mean, it's a swing game, period. It's game five. The series is tied 2-2. Two, two. So, uh, but so will they, you know, it's, this is a, a competition. It, you know, it's, it's, I've always laughed, like, one team is not just going to show up. Uh, both teams are going to show up, and, and the better team is going to win. And, and I'm confident that's going to be us. But we have to go out and do it. Like, we have to go out and, and be us. On the floor, and when we do that, I feel more comfortable. And can I follow up on Embiid? Do you feel like Embiid's knee is, you know, good enough where he, he's not going to have as much pain as maybe he had in Game Four? Where he's yeah, I, nobody knows that. Like, um, I don't think Joel knows. Uh, and so the game starts, and and listen, it's where we're at uh, with uh, this knee right now. There's no way around it, unfortunately. So um, I wish I could tell you. I know I would feel better if I knew. Thank you, Doc. Yeah. Lauren Rosen. Hey, Doc. You just mentioned it, but we haven't really had a chance to talk about all defense yet, particularly with Matisse. The fact that he's the first NBA player to make an all defensive team playing less than 20 or 20 minutes or less a game. What do you make of that accomplishment and, and the weapon that he can be for you guys? Yeah, it's great. I mean, like I said earlier in the year, uh, it's like having Raleigh Fingers, you know, a, a relief pitcher come in and um, to shut the other team's uh, starting lineup down or, or their big hitters down. And that's what Matisse does for us. All right, we have time for a few more. We'll start with Kai Carlin. Hey, Coach. So real quick, just is it, a, is it safe to assume that Joel will play tonight with the injury? Yeah, I'm assuming that, but I've assumed that every night. <laughs> you know, um, 
Yeah, I think he'll be fine. But I, again, he's got to go through the the, uh, the checkpoints. So, so he'll be a game time decision, you think? Yeah. Well, thanks, Coach. Last two questions. We'll start with Chris Vivlamore. Hey, Doc. You said after game four that you thought you let that game slip away, I think is how you phrased it. But I wonder, do you do you take that to the team? How do you how do you approach that with the team, or do you just flush it and it's done? No, that one was easy. You showed them, you know. But give the Hawks credit. They took it, too. Like, uh, uh, Collins grabbed those rebounds. Like, we didn't gift him those rebounds. So, they did have a lot to do with it as well. Um, you know, I was more uh, upset at our shot selection uh, and some of our defensive rotations, you know, which I thought was self-inflicted. But they still had to make the shot. I always say that. Like, you can make mistakes and get away with them. Unfortunately, the other night we made too many and didn't get away with it. All right, last question. We'll go to Aaron Weitzman. Hey, Doc. A um, little different, but just the decision to take Ben out of the game for the last possession last time. Just what was the reason for that? And did um, and is that something you and him have to talk about or have conversations before or afterwards about? No, it was just uh, we needed a three. I don't think that was that hard. So uh, we needed a three. I wanted all five guys uh, who can make that shot be on the floor because you don't know defensively if there's a mistake made on the ball and, and we get one off. So we actually told Shake, you thought you can dribble up and, and let it go, let it go. So, um, no, I don't need to talk to anyone about that. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Coach. All right, guys. Thank you, Coach.